Department of Education is cracking down on cheating at university, blocking 100 more websites illegally offering exam answers and essays in exchange for money. But will it stop the cheats? That's the question. We're joined now by Senior Lecturer of Education at the University of Newcastle, Dr David Roy. Thanks so much for your time, Doctor. 250 illegal cheating websites have been blocked since August last year. How bad is the cheating situation in our universities? It's not as bad as sometimes people like to make out, but obviously when new AI and online services appear, some people will use it. And that's a problem that needs to get dealt with. Um, I remember this being around uh, back in my day, a uh, hundred years ago. We used to go to the pigeonholes and steal other people's assignments and just put our own names Probably on them. Probably become a bit more sophisticated yep. anyway, than that's that how car. journalists got their degrees. <laughs> Think for yourself. Uh, but, but it is obviously a, a, a significant issue if you're not doing everything you need to do to qualify for the degree and go into the workforce. Yeah. It's a massive issue, and that's one of the reasons that while this is a, a good step, it's not really going to do much because it's just dealing with symptoms rather than the actual problem. The biggest thing that universities are doing is working to learning, which is making sure that students, say, doing engineering or education, medicine, they're going into workplaces to show they're actually learning the knowledge rather than just stealing it from somewhere, uh, from some service that writes their essays. So it's, it's, an, it's not a bad thing that Jason Clare has just announced, but it's not going to make that much of a difference. It's what the universities are doing that is really making the difference. Well, that's the thing. You throw AI in the mix and it becomes even more complicated, right? So, so what do you think it is that the government actually yeah. needs to do? What would you like to see be done here to prevent this? Well, the big thing that really needs to change is how we're treating universities and degrees. Instead of having them as monetized and as, as just a stepping stone to a job, get back to what universities were for, which was to increase learning. Because yeah, if yeah. students actually want to learn, they won't cheat. They won't cheat because if they're they cheat, they get a degree and then they go into the workplace and they can't work. So, yeah, we've got to engage the students. We've got to use alternative mm. forms of assessment, not the old style of essays. And that's what most universities are now doing. I agree with that. It's, it seems to have become a passport for a job uh, rather <laughs> than the learning process. Good on you. Appreciate yeah. your time. Thank you. All right, well, a couple of local footballers in...